Hello everyone, it's Gretchen here. Uh, this video will be cross posted. So either you're watching me on my Cat and Paws channel, which is my crafting channel, or you're watching me on Vintage Cat and Paws, which is my vintage channel. Um, I just wanted to come on here because I have some news, lots of news, and some exciting news coming up at the end. So stay tuned. And if you're just not into what I'm going to be talking about, just fast forward uh, to the end of the video and you can see the big, big, big announcement. So anyways, first off, I have three things happening. A surgery coming up and uh, let me get into that real quick. So I don't know if you watched me on my Cat and Paws channel for a while, you may know that I had uh, carpal tunnel syndrome or yeah, I had carpal tunnel syndrome and they did the surgery. And right there, they do it through your hand now, the incision. And I had that a while back. Well, after I healed, I still had a lot of pain, like shooting up to my neck and my arm. And so I was sent for an MRI, and here I had the beginning stages of cervical stenosis, which is like the narrowing of my, um, like back in the, my neck and before it hits my, my back. And, and then before we got, before we moved here, so we moved here a couple years ago. Um, I had another, I seen an ortho surgeon and it, it is continuing to worsen, but he said, well, surgery is always a last resort. Go see a pain management doctor when you get settled in and see if, you know, I had already received injections in my back or in my neck to kind of help with the pain. So anyways, fast forward and to about six months ago, I started having a lot of problems sleeping. I did not go to a pain management doctor because I'm stubborn. I'm like, I can just live with it. Like most people say, right? You can just live with it. So about six months ago, I started having a lot of problem with my uh, sleeping and I was waking up and I would have a rat's nest in the back of my hair. And I, I had this awful pain. Like it just it was not resolving with anything I had done. So I went, finally broke down with the pain management. <laughs> So I get there, they send me for another MRI and I go back for a follow-up with the pain management doctor. And instead of getting injections, they sent me over to a neurosurgeon. So I had my point of the neurosurgeon. Now, of course, my spine has gotten worse and I now have a nerve root impingement severely on my right side. Left side still affected, but just it's more my right side is where I feel the pain. So I will be having surgery at the beginning of June. Uh, in case you're wondering, um, I'm having in anterior, meaning front where they go through, they'll go through my neck, cervical discectomy infusion. So basically it's called ACDF surgery. And they'll go, like I said, through my neck and they will insert a metal plate, cadaver, cadaver bone, um, and titanium screws. I'm kind of very loosely describing what I'm having done. And then he said it's outpatient, more than likely, and that I will be sent home with a cervical soft collar for two weeks. Um, and then I, I go back for a post-op appointment. Hopefully I can take that collar off and um, I should be healing at that point. So I've read a little bit. I try not to Google too many things because it it just puts a little bit more fear in me than what I really need because I really need this surgery and I just need to get it done and I'll just deal with it. I tell myself if I can deal with the pain, then I can deal with the surgery. So that's what I'm having done. Oh, I don't want to put that way. I put my notes on here. I will be having that done in June. So I think what I'm going to do I currently, I was aiming for three videos. I was doing a Tuesday, Friday, Sunday schedule. And this, I've just gotten worse, you know. I've just gotten more tired. It takes me, like I do an activity and it takes me a, a day or two to recuperate from that. So I do want to try though because I am doing very, you know, not great on my channels. I'm actually my cat and Paul. Sorry guys, I have neglected you greatly. But that's about to change. Um, oh my, I should say this is all my vintage Cat and Paul's channel that I've been keeping to a three, uh, videos a week schedule because like I said, my other one, I've been neglecting very, very bad, but, uh, 
Yeah, so I don't think I'm going to try to keep it to the two on the vintage because that's the one I monetized on. And uh, until like after my surgery where I can start healing, start getting back out again, start feeling better, hopefully start doing my walking again and uh, building up my strength. So that's, yeah, I'll just kind of take it from there. Second part of my news is we are building a house. Yes. Finally. We bought property back when we lived in Philly. <laughs> we bought property pre-pandemic with the intent to have the house built by the time Mark retired. And, well, you know, COVID happened. Prices went through the roof. We had bought the land, though. We did buy the land before he retired. And um, and we started putting bids out. Like, uh, But by then, it was 2020. Things were not doing so well lumber prices were going up we had pulled a ranch plan and we're talking like it was topping a million dollars a ranch and nothing big 2,000 square foot ranch million dollars so we just put the brakes on it and we waited but you know we're not getting younger we're getting older and we really want to if you saw this house we live in right now you'd be like how do you even live in here I don't know it is, there's boxes everywhere. Why unpack when you know you're moving, right? I wanna, we've been wanting to build this house for a long, long, long time. So, we're starting. I will insert a video here. Came out to the build site. Pretty soon, pretty soon there'll be a hole. Oh, right about there. Um, just to see how things are looking out here. They should be bringing a porty party out soon and getting on with it i'm excited wow oh, trees are starting to get their leaves in which is nice so pretty much back down to the where it levels off down there is where our backyard will end actually you can probably see a flag down there flying that's us and um yeah i'll keep you on the progress here so what do you guys think? We have already we closed. Uh, money's been sent to the builder. Uh, we had trees taken down to put the house in that lot. We are really starting to build. Um, we ordered. We're doing superior walls like we had in uh, Bucks County, and those take 13 weeks to come in. So those have been ordered. They should be in here in, in June. And, uh, well, the excavation will be done by then. And then that will come in. They'll pour the slab. Up goes the house. We don't know when we'll be in it, but fingers crossed. Hopefully by the end of the year. Hopefully by Christmas. Mark says by Halloween. I just don't think it's going to happen. I think we're looking at more like Christmas time now. So we'll see how that goes. Which brings me to my third, third exciting announcement. Oh, my gosh. So me and Mark were talking. And, um. Uh, I said, well, what are we going to do with the house we live in now? And we thought about maybe doing an Airbnb. We're in a good location. So currently I'm in Bedford, Pennsylvania. And um, it, it, I, without giving too much information away, because we do live here, you know. Anyways, uh, we live in a really good location to have um, like an Airbnb or a store. Yes, an antique store. Oh, did I say that? Mm -hmm. So, we talked about like renting it, the house out or doing the Airbnb or a, having a store. And I like the idea of having an antique store. So, the current plans are once we are moved out, that hopefully I can open this place up as an antique store. It will just be a sole proprietor, me. Uh, I'm thinking, I've thought a lot about it, you know, like what hours and that kind of thing. Um, so time will tell, you know, always subject to change, but I will say this, and this applies to both channels, Cat and Paul's, you will be going along on the journey with me to move all my craft supplies and set up my craft room. You are just going to be bamboozled by this craft room that I have planned 
in the plans of the house, it was actually the house is it's a still it's a ranch, but the house is um has like a mother in law suite with an ensuite bathroom, and we took out <laughs> this is my my bright idea, took out the bathroom, and made it all one just big room has a closet in it so it can technically be called a bedroom, but it's a nice large craft room. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> I just can't wait because I have been yearning to craft and the current craft room, which you'll see when I start moving stuff, you'll be like, oh, no, I just can see why you didn't craft in there. I just don't feel comfortable. Uh, it, just not my jive, you know, the lighting's bad. Uh, we live in a 150 year old house that has some older lighting in it. So, yeah, you'll be going along on that journey, and we will get back to crafting a lot. I got my cabinet right here full of goodies. I got all these ideas in my head. So, and vintage Cat and Paul's, you'll be going on the journey once we get this stuff out of here. That will be unpacking, un unboxing all my stuff that I have boxed up. So basically, I go shopping and box it. Otherwise, I wouldn't. I'd have stuff to the ceiling if I didn't put stuff away. And uh, that's why, like, someone says I'm interested in that. I'm like, oh, if you can just wait till, you know, it's in a box. Um, that's why I just, I just try to get things put away so I don't trip over myself and, and depress myself looking at my, my hoarding. You know, I, I'm sure someone out there can relate to that feeling. So you will be going with me on unboxing, on packing setting the shop up. I do plan to have uh, some live sales even before I even open the store that, you know, we can walk around and like shop the shelves kind of thing. So that's kind of my idea there. And yeah, I'm excited. That is my news. Oh, good. I was going to try to keep each kind of like segment to like four minutes and I did pretty good. I'm morning at third. Well, yeah, but the other video tucked in there. So I should be good to go. So anyways, surgery coming up in June. And then by the time I get that collar off my neck, the house should have the, the walls in and probably framing will be just about done or done. Hopefully a roof will be going on or going up and on. And then um, if things move along quickly over the summer, We'll be getting stuff down, moved down there, and you'll be seeing me craft and get the, the house set up for a store. And that's the news. That is my big news. So I know I probably forgot something in my big announcements on my Cat and Paul's channel. If you can just hang in there a little while longer, I'll be getting you good content back out again on my Vintage Cat and Paul's channel. If you can just hang in there with me. Uh, with my Tuesday Saturday video. Good to hear from everybody. And oh, by the way, I do want to say comments. Um, I have to wait till I open up the laptop to do comments. I have a, my dexterity in my fingers is really bad and it hurts a lot. Like right now my wrist is hurting. And of course my arm always feels like it's spasming. So that's where most of my pain is here and and some some down here when I I, I wrote today. So when I write something with a pen, it bothers me for a while. So enough whining. Um, so if you leave me a comment and it takes me a while to get back to you or I just heard it, believe me, I read it. I just, I just got to get this surgery done. All right. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.